Squarespace Tutorial for Beginners, the ultimate guide to master Squarespace. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Squarespace. Squarespace is an online tool that allows you to build amazing websites and sell your products, build portfolios, and much, much more. Squarespace has been around for quite a long time and they have made building websites so much more easier and comfortable. Even if you've never built a website before, with Squarespace, you can easily build it in a couple of minutes. So let's get started. Now to get started, simply head on over to squarespace.com and click on get started. From here, we are going to get started with building our first website. Now over here, you're going to choose what your site is about. So for me, my website is going to be about design. And for my particular website, I want to sell products. And after that, I'm going to click on next over here and you will have two options. Either you can build with AI or browse from Squarespace's templates. Both of these options are amazing, I would like to say that, but this depends on your personal preferences. If you are fine with something that is just tailored to you, you can go with AI. But if you like to view all of the different options that might be available and you like to visually see what could possibly be done, then you should browse their templates. Now we're going to go with the AI blueprint because this is really fun to do and it's really fun to customize the AI templates as well. So from here, you're going to click on let's get started. And now we're going to create our account on Squarespace. Now account creation are on Squarespace is really simple. You can either choose Google, Apple, or your email address. I am going to continue with Google. This will open up a pop-up from where you can select your Google account and you're just going to confirm your Google account and just click on use Google and then click on OK. Then you're going to get a mail over here and then I'm going to just verify that I want to use Google as my Squarespace login. And just like that, we can proceed with our website creation. So this is our website over here and our account has now been created and we can proceed with the configuration of our website. So we are going to wait a couple of seconds until Squarespace sets up our website over here and we're going to create our website. And once we click on create website here, again, it's pretty much the same thing. Either you can pick out a template or use the Squarespace AI. Now for my account, I have the option to build my own template. I also have the option to go into the website design intelligence. And then from there, you can select the AI. But I think I'm going to go with one of the templates because I do like to just see what I have available. Now with those templates on the left, you have different options of filters. So you can filter out the type of website you want to build, the topic of your website as well. This can help you in seeing what other competitor websites might look like and how you can structure your website as well. Now there are quite a lot of amazing templates. I really like this neutral one because this could really be converted into any type of e-commerce store. And I do think that there are, you know, these templates are amazing. And I think I'm going to go for this one because it's really modern, yet it has some, some familiarity to it. I'm going to take this template over here. And on the right, you have the options to uh, change up the sample colors. You guys can see there are multiple different color combinations available. Now with the color combinations that are available, I do always recommend to always choose a color palette that has a good amount of contrast. Because if you choose a color palette like this, although in theory it looks really good, uh, you want something that has high contrast. Because that high contrast color palette allows people to visually see your items better. So I think I'm going to go with this color palette over here. It's pretty nice and I like the colors. And you can click on start with this design to get started. You can also view the demo website that is created, but I don't need to do that. We're just going to proceed with template editing on Squarespace. Now, another great part about Squarespace is that Acuity, which is a scheduling tool, is directly uh, affiliated with Squarespace. It's a Squarespace product. So if your website is going to have a feature of appointment scheduling, appointment booking, if you have any type of services you're selling and you want to integrate a appointment scheduler, you can easily integrate Acuity. That is just one plus point of using Squarespace. 
Now it's time to get started with my site name. My site name is going to be Lilies, and then I'm going to click on continue. You can just continue with all of these and this is what your website looks like. Now over here you can click on edit on the top and you can proceed with editing your site. Now you just want to do a quick overview of everything uh, before you get started with editing. On the top you are going to have a header and on the bottom you have a footer. Your footer needs to have basic information like your return policies, your privacy policies, and FAQs. And for your headers, you usually just have a navigation menu and then your brand logo. So over here, we have our Squarespace editor. On the right, you have the option to customize your site styles. Site styles refers to the fonts, the color combinations, the button styles, the way that all of those are applied throughout your website. If you edit the site styles, you have the ability to edit them throughout the entire website. So I manually don't have to change every font, I can directly do that in site styles. Now it's time to get started. First off, I'm going to edit this header and you can click on edit design and you can alter the design for your header. I want to keep the logo at the center. So I have this variation and I also have this variation with a center logo. I actually prefer this one, although this is something that I usually really dislike. I think it looks really good with this particular style. Now below that, you will see that this particular header has a uh, consistent image going throughout. So I am going to keep it as it is. So I can edit the design and if I scroll down, we have effects, spacing, fixed position, borders, and then the colors. This is set as adaptive. I want to keep it as adaptive. Then it's time to go with the next section. Go into your next section and click on edit. From here, I'm going to click on background and I'm going to delete the background image. Now I'm going to upload my own image and I'll just click on upload image over here. And we are going to use one of our downloads over here. So I'm just going to go on ahead and use, I think I'm going to use this picture over here. And I'll just click on like so. And this is our image. Now you guys can see it has chosen a focal point, but keep in mind that this image, it's visually very heavy. So I want to actually reduce the visual weight on this a little. I think I want to maybe darken this a little as well. So I can go ahead and add a edit section. We can add dividers, stylers, row counts. Then you also have the image effect. So you can click on edit. And then I'm just going to darken this image and I'm going to increase the contrast. Just reduce the darkness. Also reduce the, I'll keep the saturation at normal. And I'm just going to add a bit of a blur on top of the image. Reduce the highlights and increase the shadows a little. Because this just makes your image a bit blurry and it just makes it look a bit secondary. You also have the options on the top right to add a couple of filters and crop your image as well. I'm just going to click on save over here and my changes will be saved and you will see that there's going to be a pretty drastic effect. You guys can see how the image is now blending as the background. Now, once I have done that, I can go ahead and choose the background width if I want it to be inset or full bleed. Full bleed means that the header uh, is going to have the same background as our first section or inset. I want it to be full bleed. Then I have this text box, which I think I want to move around a little. So I'm going to hold this text box and I'm going to move it up like this. I want it to be very visible. And then the entire image section that we have over here, I can move this up a little because I want it to not be as long as it is. I'm just going to move this like so and move this section over here. Now I'm going to click on this text and I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to write my own text instead. So this is SS24 summer sale is live. And I'm just going to put in a space like so. Then I'm going to select all the text and we have the option to customize these styles as well as how we want to highlight them if we do want to highlight it. I don't think I like the highlighted version, so I'm going to remove that. And then over here, I'm going to, yeah, I want to remove the highlight and we're going to go with the color that is light because, or the color palette that we have, because this is a darker background that I have used, I want to ensure that the text on top is readable. So I'll just go on ahead and add this from my color palette. 
Now to make it further uh, a bit more defined, you can add a block behind it. I'm going to save this for now. And these are some of the just basic changes we've made. Now I can click on exit on the left and you will see this is what our home page looks like. Below that, obviously, we have the template info. And then from the left, you have pages. So you can go on ahead and click on your shop page like this. And once you go into your shop page, you can see how your products are going to be displayed. And this is super easy to customize. You can continue your store setup within your dashboard on Squarespace. You don't have to manually add products over here. They would automatically be synced up from the back end of your site. So on your website builder, you have to focus mostly on your home pages and on your basic pages. So things like your FAQs or your shipping and return policy, privacy policy, you guys can see these are added by default. Now, once we have created a basic version of our website, we are going to go back into home. And then once we do that, you will see under your website, you have a few different sections. This includes your invoicing selling where you're going to add your product. So go into the selling section and then go into products over here. And you have two types of products. You have physical products or services. Then you also have downloads or gift cards. So we're going to go into physical product over here. These are all the sample products that are added. So you can just select these from here. You can click on select all and then click on delete from the bottom to delete all of these. Then click on add physical product and we are going to add our product one. So whatever your product name is, you can add that. We're going to just add it as product one. And then you can add a description. You can see there is this Thunderbolt icon, which is the Squarespace AI. Squarespace has also introduced an AI tool that is going to help you in writing descriptions for products. Copywriting can be done easily with this. And then below that, you're going to upload files for the product images. So I am going to take this picture, which is similar. I'll just take this one over here and I'll upload that. After that, you will see add at least three photos to show off your product, include a front, back, and a detailed shot. These are recommendations. You can definitely skip these if you want. Then below that, you have to set the price of your product and uh, you have to mark it whether it's on sale or not. So if you are putting a product on sale, you can do that from here. You can add a SKU and you can add unlimited stock or the amount of stock you have. So let's say I have 100 units of this. Below that, you can also add variants. Variants could be based upon color, sizes, material, or you can base your own variants as well. So if you have variants based upon shape or based upon packaging, you can add those as well. Below that, you have your fulfillment. You can set up your fulfillment profile in your Squarespace dashboard. Then you have organization. So you can create categories to bucket your products. So these are really important to do. You guys can see these are currently blank so i'll add a category for makeup and i can just put in everything all the products that are related to makeup under this category one thing to note is that your categories are going to be as refined as possible if i am selling both makeup and clothing products i would build a hierarchy of categories and you would add all of those over here so firstly you would have a category for clothing and then makeup under makeup you would have eye products under eye products you would have things like eyeshadows eyeliners and other stuff then under clothing you might have t-shirts jeans and then um, jackets and hoodies and all of those would have their own separate category this is really important because a lot of people just you know throw in one category and you might have tens of thousands of products that fall under the same category even if you don't have tens of thousands when people are looking for one specific thing they don't want to browse through 50 different items to find that so ensure that your product organization is done correctly then you can also add keywords these tags are not displayed in your store these are just for uh, connecting related products so products can show up as featured products under your products then you have your selling tools where you can offer product add-ons and some marketing and checkout settings click on save and once you click on save on the top right, you also have the option to publish your product onto your store. So this is my product currently, and I can click on preview to see what my site currently looks like and what the product is going to look like on the site. So this is what my product looks like. I did not add any type of product description, so it's empty. Now from here, I'm going to go back and we're going to go back into our website. And once we go into our website, I'm going to click on edit product. No, not edit product, edit design. 
I want to edit the design of the product pages, and this would be applied throughout all of your product pages. We're going to click on edit section over here. You have a couple of different options. If you want it to be half, if you want it to be full, if you want it to be wrapped, if you want it to be simple. This just depends on personal preferences. I want it to be in half. And once I go with the half structure, you guys can see this is what it looks like. This is more so what we're used to. Then you have all of your color combinations that are possible with the color scheme that you selected. So pick out a color scheme that works well for your product. This obviously looks really off. I'm going to go with this one or this one. I think I'm going to go with the white background. I just think it just looks the cleanest. And once I'm done with that, if I want, I can also choose to, you know, further customize this and add a featured product below that if you want. You can do that as well. But for the most part, Squarespace websites are pretty standardized and there isn't a lot you can do obviously you can make some changes you can make customizations but for the most part you have this standard that can be followed and that is what makes it easy for you to set it up that is what makes squarespace websites so efficient so easy and so effective because they already know what formulas work the best and they're following those and you can follow those as well now once you have completed all of these you can add your payment gateway you can choose your subscription plans and publish your website now what is a subscription plan i thought we were you know creating our website for free well you can create your website for free on squarespace however if you're looking to sell products like i have added this product on my website then you do have to upgrade onto a premium version on of Squarespace. So as you guys can see over here, this is a e-commerce site and e-commerce sites do cost money for Squarespace to publish because you have to add a payment provider, payment providers take their own cut and it's just difficult to set up a e-com website. So Squarespace does have some minimal fees and we're gonna go into the Squarespace billing we're just going to go on to Squarespace plans and I'll show you guys the different pricing plans and the different features that you can access with those. We're going to go for monthly billing and over here you will see on the personal plan which starts at $25 a month. You can send invoices but you cannot actually create an e-commerce store which is a huge mistake a lot of first timers make. They just subscribe to the lowest tier and they realize oh this does not have the features that we needed. So make sure that if you're looking to sell products or services or accept payments go for the business plan. This is one of the best. It provides you with the best value. It's the best of both worlds. If you can afford the $4 extra, which is their commerce plan, I would suggest that. But for most people, they are looking to save their money initially. So with the business plan, you have templates to fit every need, advanced web analytics. You can sell products and services. You can have a checkout on your own domain. You can send invoices for free. You have 0% transaction fee on invoices and a 3% transaction fee on your online store transactions. 3% transactional fees are not that high, but let me tell you why I recommend the $40 commerce version. Although this is $4 more than the business plan, it gives you access to 0% transaction fees on online store transactions. And this can end up saving you a lot of money that you did not even know you were spending. So that is why it's really, you know, it's going to be more valuable if you are building an e-commerce store to opt for the commerce plan. Now, enough about that. Let's go back into our Squarespace dashboard. Now, this is what our site looks like currently. I'm going to go back and go into my site dashboard. This is what my account dashboard looks like. You will see on the top right, you have your profile account and security. You have any of your linked domains as well as your dashboard here. You will find any of the products from Squarespace that you're using. Even if it's your Acuity scheduler, you're going to find it over here as well. Additionally, with Squarespace, you can save a site and if you're uncertain about publishing right now, you can leave it and you can come back to it later. You guys can see this is my website. I can click on go to site to see what it looks like and then choose to later publish it when I feel that my site is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.